Hello everybody, Genesis King here and welcome back into our Star Trek New Civilizations mod playthrough in Stellaris. So at the end of the last episode, we finally, after I think four or five, maybe six episodes, we finally ended our war with the Cardassian Everybody Union knows. and we were victorious. We converted their government site to something that is friendly to us. And now we are trying to bring them into the fold. The only problem uh, is that the Betazoids don't like them. So if we come up here, uh, we invited them once and the Betazoids said no. And then we got the People's Republic of Cordan in. Oh, by the way, the People's Republic of Cordan is now a member of the Alliance. I'm going to vote yes. We're going to unpause. Um, very quickly before we unpause here, I did go in and do quite a few things before recording today's episode. Number one, got all of our fleet set up to either repair uh, or go back to a star base and upgrade. So everybody is moving in that direction. Also went in and did a bunch of planetary work and queued up a bunch of new colonies. Like I said, we were going to go on a colonization binge, which in the short term, probably not great for the economy, but in the long term, uh, it should help us out greatly. So all that has been done prior today to recording. Let's go ahead and pause and kind of chat through a couple of things here. As I mentioned, um, we did put in a couple of offers here. Number one, we want to bring in the Cardassians, who are now friendly to us, into the Alliance. I know the Betazoids are going to say no. I did it more so to find out what the People's Republic of Korridan will do. Because if they both say no, and you guys mentioned in this comment, in the comments on the last episode, and thank you all for the comments on the last episode, it is greatly appreciated. Please do keep those coming. We probably are going to have to integrate the Betazoids at a bare minimum if we want to get the Cardassians in. So... Just something to think about, because originally I'd mentioned I like having them around as an Alliance member with their 10k fleets. If we want to get the Cardassians in, mm, that probably isn't going to happen. Uh, the other offer that I put out um, is association status for these guys who are our vassal. And I went ahead and threw an association status out to the Ferengi just to hopefully... Hopefully, these guys will vote for it just to get their trust in us um, up a little bit. So, we'll go ahead and get the game running here, and we'll see how those play out. We most definitely, 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 it failed because, okay. Oh, Cordan also said no. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they both have said no, which probably means we have to start on these guys' ascension. We need to get our economy going because... Inevitably, uh, yeah, establish mm -hmm. embassy, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 Innovative uh, about. migration treaty, sure. Um, Innovative is there anything about. else I can do? What do we get here? Ooh, we get a lot of engineering. We're up to plus four. Initiating four? communications. <clears throat> okay. Can I at least offer you an association <laughs> status? Will, will that get approved? Oh, the Betazoids also said... Wow, alright. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, uh, boost or evasion. Good. Incoming transmission. An alien visitor. Prime Minister, my name is Verpen Ver Den Iradar. And I must request your assistance. My vessel is ambushed by pirates and what you call the Ross 973 system. I barely managed to escape in my shuttle. I beg of you, please send a ship to the system to help me search for survivors. Um, sure. Situation log. Oh, we actually have a lot to do. Oh yeah, we got the soul of Alar in the last episode. Hmm. Where is, here we go. Um, where are you? The, okay. Uh, let's grab a sign ship. Who doing nothing? Yeah, you, you're doing nothing and you're in the general vicinity. Where? I'm sorry, where did that go? Oh, here we are. So can I get? Yeah, there we 
There we go. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. All right. Um, right, I'm going to turn that off because that's going to annoy the shoot out of me. All right, we need to start making more dilithium. Um, did any of these worlds have dilithium mines on them? Well, crap. Um, we can go to the market. We are sell. Oh man, we're selling. Okay. Yeah, let's undo that. Hopefully, that doesn't send us into the negative on our credits. But I need to slow that down a little bit. Once we pump over the next month. Initiating communications. There we go. Okay, a little bit. Uh, research agreement. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. We'll we'll help build you up. That's that's perfectly fine. Um, okay. Ships are moving, stuff is happening. Alright, we're back in the positive on Latinum. Good stuff. Ooh, that's actually good. So I, I cleared it, but the Cardassians and them are at least talking. Oh, you've entered Defensive Pact with Kingdom of Score. Okay. Alright, I guess that's okay. Just don't join an alliance or anything. Oh, are we... Ha, we can do the Federation Council. Okay. Let's do an accession. And I think we're going to do Cordan. And what we'll need to do. Yeah, let's do Cordan. Let's see if they accept. I assume they will. I assume they will, but we'll see. Hey, they've accepted. Lovely. Okay, so. Let's bump that to major focus. 142 months. Uh, let's also go in and improve relations. So we're going to pull you. Because you were over there while they were ascending. I think we're going to pull you. Yep. Okay, so that ascension has begun 108 months. That's actually not, not terrible. Um, I do need to figure out this whole dilithium thing. Because we, we can literally only do that on worlds with a dilithium mine, correct? Yeah. And so the only other way to get in the positive on that would be buying and or trading complete. with someone. Um... Do you have any monthly dilithium you want to give me? Oh, hey, you do. Um, will you... Well, that barely moved anything. Okay. Hmm. What do I have that you could take? Terium, not so much anymore. Favors? Can I cheat this? <laughs> I could. Oh, okay. Let's do that. 30 years plus 13 dilithium. That at least give us time. Ah, there's the threshold. <laughs> All right. Fine. A favors for that. Uh, that yeah, that's fine. Uh, commercial pact. Grant us 12 platinum. What are we at right now? 1.46? Sure. Cost us 0.12. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Well, all of that is working. Green have declared them their rival. Yeah, that would be... Oh, they're a vassal under the king. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, the swarm. Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, entering Ross 9733, the VSS Jital. Or Tajal, under Captain Tamini, detects appears to be a vessel of enormous size coming into view from the far side of the planet. As the ship moves closer, it is soon apparent that it is actually comprised of hundreds of smaller vessels flying in close formation. The swarm surrounds the ship before dozens of ships crash into the hole, wave after wave, through the defenses. Um... 
Abandon. It sounds like you're overwhelmed, so let's abandon ship. Given the order to abandon ship, the crew rush their escape pods. A swarm of smaller ships continues to pound into the hull. Number of crew are killed. Using the bulk of the shield, the escape pods from onslaught, the majority of the crew are able to get clear of the wreck of their vessel. Well, that sucks. Um. Gotta find a way off the planet, man. While sensors and comms range on the planet was limited, the captain was able to acquire approximate bearings on a faint energy signature high in the mountains near where the pod landed. Uh, the trek up the mountain is slow, but eventually it's many and the crew from her escape pod come across the wreck of a vessel. Uh, is that, is that the captain asking courageously? Okay. Investigate that. Okay. The ship is confirmed as the one that they thought it was. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lost many years prior under Captain Cecilia Lowe. The remains of his crew are found stored in the ship's morgue, and the hull is riddled with breaches. Captain and a handful of her officers survive the crash. The logs become increasingly erratic as they slowly realize the United Federation of Planets rescue is unlikely. Given the extent of the damage, unlikely that it can be made spaceworthy. Okay. All right, the crew is mostly deposited in an area uh, 50 kilometers radius. 25 fatalities were recorded. Okay, well. um, Yeah, we saw that. All right, that's fine. Okay. Jesus. Um, Repair much of the damage to the ship. Modern UFP uh, repair tools have advanced far beyond those available when the ship was under Captain Cecilia Lowe's command. While pushing the specifications to their limits, the engineering crew believe that it is possible to get the vessel to achieve orbit once again. Ponders her next move, whether to escape and warn the UFP uh, or to discover more about the mysterious attacker. Ooh, whoa, what should we do here? I think we gotta we gotta warn him. That was the that was our common thread. Uh Thruster struggled to first. Lift the vessel from the mountainside, but as the inertial dampers are set above the limits, um, uh, thruster ratio climbs, the ship accelerates. Evading the swarm patrols is difficult, and several near collisions threaten to end the ship's ascent early. At last, though, the ship clears the planet's gravity well enough to enter warp. But behind them, a crew paused, reflecting their loss. Open a channel to Earth. Prime Minister, we have been watching many years. Let, left us abandoned on the world we crashed on. No rescue while you led the unit for uh, For retribution... Who are you? <clears throat> Once I was Cecilia Lowe, captain, uh, but no more. Found ancient chamber here on this planet, sustained me and survivors, but changed us. Now we are judgment, and you are unworthy. What do you want? You betrayed us by leaving us to die here. No rescue, not for years. And we have seen how the UFP has progressed. It is soft. We will make you pay, and I will make you suffer. And then you will be strong again. Um. What? My ships are nowhere near being able to help this. Okay, the game froze. I don't like that. I mean, just putting something in. Ha! Huh. I'm sorry. What? Um. I mean, thank God you're not in our system. Ships upgraded. Do I even have 50k worth of ships? No, I I don't. 8, 11, 18. Uh, we'll call it 29. We'll call it 34. 36-ish. I mean, we're close. If we got all the fleets together, the problem is we're all spread out right now. Hopefully, because this isn't in our system, these guys are just going to kind of hang out. Because that's kind of what it's looking like. Um, but... Technology discovered. You will have to keep an eye on it. That's scary as hell is what that is. 
Okay, the other thing that we need to be doing right now, I think, is sort of building up a war chest. Um, because inevitably... I mean, maybe not inevitably, but we will be coming into contact with the Romulans. And we really need to get this built up. I need to know how to get more star bases. I need to maybe reevaluate where our star bases are at and what they are doing. Uh, that might be something I do in between episodes here. Um, we mediate a dispute. Let's react to a conflict. Uh, let's react to... No, I don't want that. I want... Klingon and Romulan. Aha, here we go. I want to condemn the Klingon. No, I'm sorry. I want to condemn the Romulans. I want to be friends with the Klingons. So let's condemn the Romulans. That may be a stupid damn choice because they'll declare war on us, but it's going to be okay. Actually, no. If they declare war on us, it's not in any reasonable line going to be okay. Establishing okay, colony. yeah, they're just kind of hanging out. I, I can accept that. Well, guys, uh, Valerians, I guess you're not being integrated, so... Establishing colony. Um, sorry about it. <laughs> Sorry about it. All right, there go those. At least we can unmothball you at some point. Yeah, probably. Right, Establishing definitely colony. need to. Yeah, you're there. God, we need to upgrade our star bases. God, we. I mean, we need to upgrade our economy. <laughs> Generally speaking, uh, collapse you. I know what all you guys are doing. Uh, you all are getting colonized. Anywhere and need any jobs. You do. Okay. What do we need most? Probably continuing down the industrial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, mining world. from jobs yeah let's upgrade you that's fine um no 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 I want features here are you okay Technology 95 months discovered. remain uh, tractor beams. All right, let's. Energy weapons damage. Orbital science center. Nah. Aceton assimilator. What do you do? Oh. Yes, I I want that. Who died? Administrator. Oh, that's fine. A galactic community. As more and more spacefaring civilizations establish formal relations with one another, the galaxy is becoming a vibrant and lively place. To avoid tragic misunderstandings between nations, an increasing number of diplomats have called for establishment of a new pan-galactic organization, a community, if you will, where the empires of the galaxy can meet to discuss important matters. I mean, we are the Federation of Planets, so I guess technically, yes. That's a worthwhile endeavor. Trying to scan to trade. Good, good. So maybe all those favors I traded will come back to bite me in the butt. <laughs> starting to look like it. Uh, starting to look like it. All right, let's upgrade that sh that stuff. We are back in the positive across the board. Um, I think we're about to dive into getting our alloy components, consumer goods production up and going. Order's been restored on Andros. Okay. And the minute we get this all good, we're going to freaking ascend. Ascend these guys. Okay. Um, how are y'all doing diplomatically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So they did vote to approve the okay. I mean, I'm just gonna keep sending this. And maybe they're gonna say yes. I don't know. Let's find out. It doesn't hurt. Does not hurt. Okay. Alright, are we? Yeah, Cordan voted no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Upgrade you. Repair you. Cool. Um, all you should be upgrading, correct? Survey complete. Yep. There we go. Technology discovered. All right. Seed vault. We need to go look at that. Uh, trust cap plus 10. Let's boost our fleet command limit, which actually... Can I fit more ships? I mean, we kind of got to get the whole dilithium thing figured out. Uh, before we can do that. Oh, Bajor. Bajor is looking to push into these. Oh, they killed the pirates there. Okay. We'll unrestrict that. My auto explorers can go. Um, okay. Colonization has started. I assume that's costing us some credits. And the only reason we're positive there is because... Uh-oh. Why'd we freeze? Ah, so... Oh, my God. Construction oh, complete. Pause, damn it. Oh, no. That was a war of subjugation. Klingon Empire becomes a subject under the Romulan Star Empire. Oh no! Whoa! Th wow! Wow! This is starting to feel like... I don't know. Two major powers, right? And even us, we're... freaking We're nowhere near these guys. We've got to do a military buildup. Got to. Um, can we at least build out one of our command ships into one of our fleets? Like, can we... You've got an icon type here. You're 30 out of 30. If I come in here, I'm pretty sure that... Proxima class cruiser. Oh, you're 16. Okay, even a plus 10. We're not going to be able to get that in. So we'll have to build out another fleet. Um. We'll go that. We'll go Constitution. Uh, and then I want to throw in. Seed Vault. Why is that? Okay, I need to go look at that. Um, what did I want to throw? I wanted to throw some of you guys in there. Basically some smaller support. Um, screw it. And then that'll be fine. Okay. Uh, to build this out fully... We are lacking 500 dilithium. Okay, so we just need to remember that we did that. Well, oh, that's gonna put us over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of scary. Just a little bit scary. Yeah, we need to get these guys in. Now, can you guys left to let me know in the comments? Ships I'm not upgraded. entirely sure. If we declare war with the Romulans, which we're not, can they flow through this? Because it looks like I can't. It looks like I cannot come in here. So I would assume that they cannot come in here. Right? 
which means they'd be forced to to come through this way presumably I think I got a I'm sorry why do you have a star base here too oh it's a space dock okay fine um better hole plating we just upgrade our ships again Ganymede class refits. Ships upgraded. Better hole plate. Better hole plating. Ooh, what is this? Oh no. Preparing to declare war on us, the Romulan Star Empire. Thud of a beach. Okay, well, looks like we need to. Need to build you. Okay, so we're gonna get the Constitution, but not the Proxima. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, now we should be able to build that. Okay, we got a command cruiser coming online. Um, we need to. Oh Jesus! Yeah, I can't afford this because. Ah! All right, well. I think we are going to wrap today's episode up here. Um, we are going to have a huge, huge war with the Romulan Star Empire. And the God, Klingons. And these guys. I mean, look at our borders. They're going to come rushing right in. Um, let me know what strategies we should use, guys, because I'm feeling... I'm I'm feeling not so great about this. Feeling not so great. Can I try to improve relations with you? Ferengi, I'm going to pull you. We're going to try to improve this. Oh, great. Well, guys, um, may only be a few more episodes left in this series. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Stellaris and sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.